Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. We begin this half hour with the added cost of America's spiking inflation rate. This week, the Labor Department reported a 9.1 percent increase in consumer prices in June. That's higher than the increase we saw in May and the largest gain since November of 1981. Indiana Jones was the top movie that year. Just think about that. Surging gasoline prices are part of what's driving inflation. And while that affects every American in some way, it's especially hard on families that have to travel long distances for necessary medical treatment. 15-year-old Ginger Vincent's health depends on a key calculation. Do we have enough gas to do it? Because we got appointments on Wednesday, appointments on Thursday. Ginger, who lives for sports, was diagnosed with bone cancer more than a year ago. The first thought that I had was, don't cry. I was in front of my parents and I wanted to be strong for them. It's just hard to see her like that. She was so healthy and vibrant. <laughs> Smart. Just to see her wasting away in, in bed. Her parents, Keith and Annalisa Vincent, have watched Ginger go through chemo and multiple surgeries. The athlete had part of her femur bone removed last year and lung surgery just last week. Just gives you an overview of where we're going every day. Physical therapy. Ginger's CT appointment. Scan. I mean, the schedule's full. Ginger's appointments, including physical therapy, can be up to an hour away from her home in rural Indiana. Surgeries can be more than two hours away. Before her diagnosis, the water treatment technician and nursing home worker lived off of one tank of gas a week, which cost $40. They now need up to three tanks a week to get to appointments, costing more than $200. $20 is only four gallons. After gas prices more than doubled in the past year. That's money they don't always have. So it's like, you know, let's pay the mortgage first. Let's pay the majority of the bills. But at the end of the day, I said, wait a minute, we do not have money for gas. You've been in that situation? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So I end up like going to instant cash. That's our best friend right now. Instant cash? Instant cash. Those are short term high interest loans they need to afford transportation to Ginger's appointments. They've gotten some help from co-workers, Ginger School, and Ronald McDonald House Charities, which provide services for families of sick children, including housing near hospitals. This is Ginger with the charity's therapy dog, Gus. Last year, we were able to provide. With such high gas prices, Joanna Sabato with Ronald McDonald House says demand for their services has surged beyond capacity. These families are really having to ask themselves if both parents can be by their child's bedside because they can't afford to travel back and forth because of the high gas prices. Thank you. To try to cover the bills, the Vincents have cut back on groceries, a sacrifice not lost on their daughter. Having to watch them. We have to pay this bill, we have to pay that, and I'm downstairs and I hear all of that. It just seems so stressful and I just feel bad for them. We're just hoping that one day, you know, the government can do something about this economy, of, about the gas prices, because they have the power. We're flyover country, so if it doesn't hit New York or Washington or California, they, they give you good lip service, but they don't uh, really understand. The Vincents say they're keeping their eyes on what matters. People have certain bickerings, everyday trials, oh, rent, food, you know, but you kind of like work it out. Um, when you got cancer, that kind of stuff fades away. The big picture is her. Oh, this family wow. is so incredible. The bond that they have, how they look after each other, you know, they had to cut back on groceries. I mean, we went to go shoot that story. They had a platter out for us. You know, wow. these are the type of people that they are. And they're in rural America. You heard the father say this is flyover country. But in, in the Midwest, a lot of agricultural areas, you have to travel right. to go to That's a big right. medical yeah, center. Service. But they're also, I'm thinking, they're one family. Their story's not unique just to them. There are other families like them. This is simply wrong. This shouldn't be happening. And I was about to say, people. you mentioned that their GoFundMe was boosted um, yes. by the attention, which yes. is wonderful and heartening, but then you're also disheartened one, that it takes... Yeah, there yeah. are so many people in the situation. My husband deals with heart transplant pa patients. His patients travel three hours just for their regular appointments, their checkups, which happen all the time. Oh, That's God. a lot of money on gas. Yeah. Great story. Great story.